Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to use a great free tool, MDB Builder. MDB Builder is a free drag and drop bootstrap builder. An awesome additional benefit is a free hosting and also a possibility of creating a repository. Without further ado, let's get started. If you are not yet a MD Bootstrap user, you need to register first. Registration is free and super fast. Go to mdbootstrap.com and click Login in the top right corner. Then click Register and fill up your data. I already have my account, so I simply sign in. Next in the navbar, click Builder and you will be redirected to the Builder homepage. Now you need to log in using the account you just registered on mdbootstrap.com. So simply click login in top right corner and sign in. Here you have a few options to choose from. You can create a new project, you can use one of our predefined templates or you can continue to work on the project you saved before. Let's start with creating a new project. Click create new project and you will be redirected to the editor of our builder. On the left side, you have a canvas where you will see the preview of your project. On the right side, you have a list of design blocks that you can use in your project. Design blocks are divided into different categories like hero sections, contact, features and so on. To use a given design block, simply click it or drag it. If you want to edit a given element of a design block, you just need to click on it and type whatever you want. The same with the icons. If you want to edit the icon, click on it and the menu with the list of available icons will pop up on the right. So you can simply choose one of available icons or you can search for it. There is over 600 available icons at your disposal. It's the same with the images. If you want to edit an image, simply click on it and the menu with the gallery will pop up on the right. So you can choose one of available images or you can provide a link to the image you like. With MD Builder, you can edit almost any element in the project. For example, buttons. After clicking the button, you can of course change the name You can add a link where the button should redirect after clicking it or you can also add an icon or change the color. You can also decide if the design block should be stretched full width or should have margins like this. By clicking arrows you can change the orders of the blocks or you can also simply drag it. By clicking this red button, you can delete a given design block or by clicking this purple icon in the bottom left corner, you can delete them all. Let's add some blocks back. And in the top right corner, you will find an option to change the view of our project so we can see how it looks on mobile, on tablet, or of course on desktop. We can even see it on full screen. In the top left corner you will find a settings button and here you can find an option to change a name of your project and you can also change a theme. You can also use a dark theme. By clicking save button you can of course save your project to come back to it later. If you want to publish your project to the internet, simply click publish and after a few seconds your project will be available at this link. You can also find this link here. So click it and here you can find your project and share it with your friends, your customers or with the entire world. You can also download your project and edit it in your code editor. So let's click download in bottom left corner. 
and then unzip the package and open it with your favorite code editor. Then open index.html and you can simply edit this project here. I will simply change the text, let's see if it works, and yes, it works. By clicking the home icon, you will be redirected to the home page of the builder. In the saved projects tab, you will find your projects. So you can click edit and you can come back working on your project. You can of course also delete it. In the templates tab, you can use one of our beautiful predefined templates. So if you like any of these, click use it and then you can edit it as you would edit your own project. The last thing I want to show you is how to create a repository for your project and how to change a domain to your own custom domain. Behind the scenes, MDB Builder uses MDB Go, which is a powerful platform dedicated to developers and designers, and it offers a free hosting and open source deployment tools. Go to mdbgo.com, next sign in using your MD Bootstrap account, and then click projects. Here you will find your projects from MDB Builder. Click manage to the project you created before, and here you have a few interesting options. On the left side you can see a screenshot of our project, so you can know this is the project you are looking for, and on the right side you can enable your SSL certificate or you can edit your domain. You can, if you um, have your own domain, you can click edit here and then change uh, this address from mdbootstrap.com to your own custom address. Or you can also add the repository. So here, click create and then after a few seconds, your repository will be ready to work on. And again, to log in, you need to use your MD Bootstrap account. And here it is. This is your project with your repository. And that's all you need to know about MDB Builder. Let us know in the comments if you like the tool or if you have any questions.